out at 6 o'clock p.m. in New York City, everybody. I hope I didn't just blow your ears out. But I might have, and if I did, I'm really sorry, because, you know, this is all up in your ears. What's your name, scumbag? My name is Nick the Rat. (laughs) Nick the Rat. Uh, This is Nick the Rat, live from the sewer. It's currently 6 p.m. on the Diddy Dot in Brooklyn, New York, sewer, sewer time. It's the Brooklyn sewer time. And it's 6 p.m. here. It's a balmy 70-something out there. I I had an air vent coming into the sewer, but it was making too much noise. So if I die of heat exhaustion down here at 7 degrees, you could all call me a big pussy. Because it would be true, too. Because if you die in, like, 70-degree weather, that's, that's not saying too much. But don't worry, I have chilled wine with me. Nothing nothing like a big old mug of chilled wine to get you through a show of paranormal experiences and culture sharing and free music for the masses. It's good times. It's really Do you suck dicks? Whoa, it's good I said it's a decent it's decent times, not good. Oh boy. Huh well, I got, I got, uh, uh, I got that guy from that movie. You are nothing but unorganized, grab pieces of amphibian shit. Thank you. That yells at people a lot. He's here today. Uh, so it's going to be kind of interesting. Why? I don't know why he's living in, in the sewer. Are you here to collect taxes or something? you trying to shut me down. You're the government man, aren't you? Well... No shit. No crap. The government's here. All right. The the gig might be up. They tried to kill me last episode, but my good friend Rainer, my good friend Rainer, brought me back to life. We got we got we probably can have Rainer calling in from the spaceship later. He's he's a good friend of mine. He's he saved my life on several occasions. So it's it's once again it's a Wednesday. Uh, in January, from March, April, May, June 1st, Wednesday, June 1st, 2016. Holy shit, 2016. You know, it's weird. 2016 is just arbitrary, like every other number that rules us. We're ruled by arbitrary numbers. God damn it, I probably keep bringing this back up, but it's probably because... Probably because of reasons. Jesus H. Christ. Well, I guess that could be the reason for the 2016 part. Uh, apparently, he, he he did something that long ago. Well, you know, the Earth is still revolving and rotating. I guess that's really important stuff for when the aliens come and they got to shoot their lasers from across the galaxy over here. They got to aim it up properly. I hope they use uh, metric... Because otherwise, they don't use metric, and then they're kind of boned. I also got the phone line. The phone line it started to make some weird clicking noise earlier. I don't know what was going on with it. Uh, maybe it's because this government jerk's here. You know what I'm talking it's about? It's only steers and queers come from Texas, private cowboy. Whoa. And you don't much look like a steer to me, so that kind of narrows it down. I'm, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. Calm down. You little piece of shit, you look like a fucking worm. Whoa. Well, I should look like a rat, because that's what I uh, am. Um... Well, yeah, so I got the phone line that's clicking at 917-719-5923. Free, feel, feel free to call and... Well, ah! Even, ah! Yeah, you can uh, call and scream at me. For crying out loud, call and scream at me in unison with Translucent. Happy Wednesday, citizens of planet Earth and stuff. Yeah. Welcome back. Hey, 
is it's purple. with translucent unison one sun one one son one one zone uh i had a i had a paranormal experience recently if if you know what i'm talking about it it was pretty crazy i i, I learned a lot about uh uh stuff I guess through it, it was, it was weird. So, uh, have you ever heard of uh, exploding head syndrome? Well, I, I I didn't, and that's why I got real scared when it happened to me. But I got through it. Everybody, I experienced exploding head syndrome, and it was followed up by a whole bunch of other stuff too. Which was, woo, it was a fun, fun time in Brooklyn at, uh, at night last weekend. But exploding head syndrome, instead of hearing me talk about it, let's listen to the news. Apparently it was big in the news this time last year. Like, I, I did a search for it and it came up all over last year. And apparently they, they, they only thought it was on old people, but then every, they're like, oh, there's all these college kids getting it. I don't know. 
We'll think about it after this clip. Welcome back to The Real Story. Has this ever happened to you? Oh, by the way, this is Fox News. I think that's Megan Schmeck Sh- Kelly. Schmeckin Schmeckin Kelly. Uh, just let's, let's just listen in. The actually the ending to this clip is quite disturbing too. We'll talk about that later. You're lying in bed, drifting off to sleep, when suddenly you're jolted awake by a startling loud noise. Except that noise is just in your head, not real. Doctors have a name for it, actually. It- just in your head, not real. It was not. If it was in, isn't everything in your head? You're listening to this in your head right now. I'm in your head, and I'm real, and I'm looking at all your passwords right now, and I'm getting your bank account information. Let's continue with the clip. It's called exploding head syndrome. Sounds pretty bad but it's actually more prevalent than once thought. Researchers found that nearly 20% of all college kids have experienced at least one episode of this, and that one in third, one third of patients that is, it can lead to something one called third. sleep paralysis, where they can't move or speak when they wake up. Yeah, yeah, I had the sleep paralysis part too. I'm starting to think sleep paralysis is, uh, it's like lucid dreaming. I think sleep paralysis is, is the, is you're lucid dreaming, you're not really awake, and you can't move. And then you can't because you're in a dream state. You're just dreaming you're in bed. And I'm sure everybody out there is attempted to punch things in their sleep, and it feels like you're throwing marshmallows at the wall. It's really ineffective most of the time, unless you know what you're doing. But yeah, I think sleep paralysis, a lot of people are like, oh, it it happens when you're awake. I sort of don't think it does. But I'll continue on with my story on why I don't think it does. Cross my rat tail and hope to die a little bit after this clip. Dr. Christopher Winter is a sleep medicine doctor and neurologist, and he's here to explain what the heck exploding head syndrome is. So what exactly is it, doctor? I think, first of all, it's important to point out this exploding head syndrome is totally different than what Hillary Clinton is experiencing right now. That's, that's a different exploding <laughs> head syndrome. This is a condition, it's, it's sort of an auditory hallucination that some people experience right as they're getting ready to fall asleep. It's usually a loud sound or an explosion. Or I had one patient describe it one time, like somebody took a bed spring and bent it and then let it go really suddenly and you get the kind of barring kind of sound. And it's very disturbing. It's, it's, and it can awaken people you know, immediately from their sleep thinking they've had a stroke. But- very true. I saw a white flash and I heard like an old timey camera bulb explosion or something. It was very strange. It was like, I saw a white and I heard, and I thought I was having a stroke. I was flipping out. But more happened to me after that, which which was really, really creepy. Uh, back to the clip. It's completely painless and really completely harmless. Okay, so how do you treat it? I mean, generally, just acknowledging the fact, you know, I typically ask patients, have you ever been woken up by an unusual loud sound or a bang and it really scared you? Usually just talking about it and the patient understanding that, oh, wow, I've had that before and I've always been nervous about that and and wondered what it was. It's just really mainly reassurance and trying to encourage better sleep hygiene and better sleep practices okay. typically make it go away. Well, but here's the thing. So they did this study and they're finding out now they thought that it used to be people 50 and over who experienced it more, but now it's it's a pretty big percentage of younger people. And I'm wondering is that does it have anything to do with technology? I bl- I blame hot pockets. Hot pockets cause exploding head syndrome. I'm saying it no. Uh she's going to say it's technology, which might be tr- might be true. I don't know. I'm always like on the radio. Technology and electronics and the fact that we're overstimulating our brains all the time. It could. I mean, some people think that the phenomenon is related to your brain turning off at night. And when young people are using electronics or media and it keeps them up at night and disturbs their sleep quality, there could be a relationship. All right. This, and just for the record, uh, for my Scott, question of hashtag sports 
sleep something. Hold on, I gotta go back. Relationship. Hashtag All right. sports sleep. And just for the record, uh, for my question of the day, what's the weirdest thing you've done behind the wheel of a car? You just told me you changed a diaper. What? You. Yeah, this guy changed a diaper driving a car. I'm about to have exploding, like an exploding head right now. Like, I'm not even... Oh, my God. I'll beat to you and take your asshole for sucking buttermilk. Well, yeah, that's what I would do to this. He changed a diaper driving a car. They should have fucking arrested him on the spot. They should have just busted in sleep docs, sleepy sports doc. You promised me you wouldn't tell. I did. I changed a diaper one time driving down the road. I'm not proud of it, and I'll never do it again. <laughs> You're here to tell about it. All right, I'll get more details in the break. Dr. Winter, thanks so much for explaining exploding yeah, head Winter. syndrome. See you soon. You're here. You're still fucking here about it. Changing diapers behind the wheel of a car. Jeez. It's hard enough to smoke weed behind the wheel of a car. You're fucking changing diapers, my friend. It's Well, I could go on with my story. Or I could use it as a teaser as I play Raziel I Love You. Or this is just Raz R A Z I E H E L Love You. Sweet. I love you, Daddy. Don't drive and change my diaper, psychopath. Okay. Okay.
softball through a garden hose. Do you believe in the Virgin Mary? Pussy. Where in hell are you from anyway, Private? I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. Oh, God. I'm in the sewers. I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. Uh, uh, that's debatable. That was Unison with Translucent. Uh, welcome back, everybody. It's 621 in the after evening, afternoon, sundown, dusk. Man, I wish there was more windows in the sewer. All I always just see is emergency lights and the reflection off of the water. It's kind of relaxing down here, but I don't know what time of day it is. It's really bad. I think we should all know the time of day at all given points throughout the day. It's just, it's just how it is. Uh... I, I'm going to take a voicemail. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll do like a... Uh, I'll force live callers. I'll force it. But not today. Today we're sticking to the formula of playing voicemails. 917-719-5923. Hello, this is Joe Vishnu. Oh, I no. called you a few times about your diaper deal, and I just want you to cancel the order. No. The number under the order is 323. I found a new way to shit my pants, and it requires no diapers at all. If you want to know the secret of shitting your pants like me... Just give me a call, Nick. I will tell you. All right, Joe out. Have a good day. Oh, man. This guy's got a... He needs that guy from Fox News to shit in the thing or something. And he could throw it out the window of his car. Uh, yeah, so I had the exploding head syndrome. I'm also, I gotta, I gotta prefit, preface, preface all of my knowledge about, uh, this by saying, I think I'm a pro lucid dreamer. I, well, I could tell, I could tell when I'm in a dream, and then I can control it. I have this ability, I'm pretty good at it. I've, I can't always control it once I get it going, but I could realize what's going on and make it fun. I like to fly, but sometimes I can't control it, and I feel like I'm falling in certain directions. Like, oh, I'm going to fly forward. And then I'm going like a billion miles per hour through trees and shit. And then, you know, after you, you can't control it, and you're like, this is whatever, then you stop. But also, you know, you could throw orgies and parties or say shit to people or make people do weird things. The power of a lucid dream is really strong, folk. Whoo! I could tell another story about one time I was awake and lucid dreaming, but I think the weed was spiked. Anyway, uh, so I, I'm a really good lucid dreamer. I have a pretty good idea of what I'm dreaming, but this this exploding head syndrome was new to me. It was it was, it was my all entire vision went white, and then I had. I had the sleep paralysis, but I was pretty sure I was in a dream at this point. Because a flash of lights, that doesn't happen normally. And sleep, like, I have fallen asleep on my arm and woken up and I had dead limbs. That shit is scary. That's like, oh boy, I don't have an arm anymore because I went to sleep. Jeez, you never know what's going to go on over here. Uh, a real Dvorak. Hey, uh, anyway, so the sleep paralysis was kicking in, and I i think I might have had it before. I, and I remember being like, oh, this is just, just, just a dream. So, I, But I was stuck there. But I, 
I wasn't thinking it was really happening, but, you know, the, the, the nerves were kicking in because I'd never had the exploding head syndrome before, and I thought I was stroking out. I thought I was, I thought I was dead, folk. It was serious stuff. Before I continue on with this, let's, let's just play another, let's just play another voicemail. You can call in live at 917-719-5923, or... If I don't answer, you could just leave a voicemail and I'll play it. I play everything. I don't screen calls. I don't screen my calls. Let's see. Hey, how you doing there, Mr. Rat? This is uh, Sal Sprinkles. I uh, no. I am one of the fine workers of uh, Mr. Softy, you know, the ice cream trucks that go around New York City, this beloved city that we have here. And I uh, just want to let you know to make sure that you buy through us and not New York ice cream, all right? Let me tell you something right now. They got all kinds of diseases, everything from Zika virus to AIDS, whatever. Don't buy from them. Buy from Mr. Softy. Just letting you know. I love your show. I hope it keeps going, man. And whatever you need from us, you know, we'll be right outside, okay? Holy crap, people. Buy your stuff. From the sprinkles and not from the New York City sprinkle company. Otherwise, the produce gangsters, they apparently are driving trucks now. They're in trucks. They're coming for you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And because... Because... I'm going to... I'm going to play another song by Daniel Deluxe. This is an Eminem and M Eminem and M remix. Sprinkles, M&M's, m and and m and Sprinkle, m and Sorry, man. But when you feel weak, you feel like you want to just give up. But you got to search within you. You try to find that inner strength and just pull that shit out of you. And get that motivation to not give up and not be a winner. No matter how bad you want to just fall flat on your face. So I collapse, I'm spilling these rats. Long as you feel them to the day that I drop, you'll never say that I'm not killing them. Cause when I am not, then I'ma stop pinning them. And I am not hip hop, and I'm just not Eminem. Subliminal thoughts when I'ma stop sinning them. Women are caught in wax, venom and hot venom. Adrenaline shots, a penicillin could not get the hell in the stop. My moxicillin's just not real enough. The criminal cop killing hip hop, filling a minimal swap to cop. Millions of pop listeners, you're coming with me, feel it or not. You're gonna fear it like I show to the spirit of God lives in us. You hear it a lot, lyrics to shock. Is it a miracle or am I just part to pop? This enough. This is my wisdom, this is the plot. Listen up, you this is for God's listen, just not give a fuck. Come on, feel the light go out. Get my legs, get out. Can't shut my mouth. Till the smoke clears out. Am I high? Or not? I'ma rip this shit. Till my ball go out. Till the roof comes off. Till the lights go out. Till my legs get out. Can't shut my mouth. Till the smoke clears out. Am I high? Or not? I'ma rip this shit. Till my ball go out. Music is like magic. There's a certain feeling you get when you're real and you speak. From people to feeling your shit. This is your moment. And every single minute you spin. Try to hold on to it. Cause you may never get it again. So while you're in it, try to get as much shit as you can. When your run is over, just admit when it's in it's in Cause I'm at the end and my wits would have the shit that gets in I got a list, here's the order of my list that it's in It goes Reggie, JC, Tupac, and Biggie Andre from Outcast, Jada, Kowalt, Nas, and Vinny But in this industry, I'm the cause of a lot of envy So when I'm not put on this list, the shit does not offend me That's why you see me walk around with nothing bothering me Even though half the people got a fucking problem with me You hate it, but you know respect you got to give me The presence wet train with Bob and you're with me You ain't kidding me Till the room comes on, till the lights go out Till my leg give out, can't shut my mouth Till the smoke clears out, am I high or not? I'ma rip this shit, till my bone goes out And I didn't know they stacked shit that high Till my leg give out, can't shut my mouth Till the smoke clears out, am I high or not? I'ma rip this shit, till my bone goes out As soon as the first starts, I eat it at MC's heart What is he thinking? I'm not to go against me smart And it's absurd, how people hang on every word I probably never get the props I feel I ever deserve But I'll never be served, my spot is forever Reserved. If I ever leave Earth, that would be the death of me first Cause in my heart of hearts, I know nothing could ever be worse That's why I'm clever when I put together every verse My thoughts are sporadic, I act like I'm an addict I rap like I'm addicted to smack like I'm Kimavis But I don't wanna go forth and back I count the battles, the fact is I would rather sit back and burn some rappers So this is like a full-blown attack, I'm launching at him The track is on some battle and rap, so I'm static Cause I don't really think that the fact that I'm so mad is a black 
Daniel Deluxe vs. Eminem till I corrupt. I guess if I play p p people's remixes, they won't come after me. And if they do, whatever. Come on, Eminem, bring it! Uh, usually I like to play all, you know, classically free, whatever, and whatnot. Um, yeah. So other than the my dream and sleep paralysis, listen to this shit. This shit's trippy. News beat health. It is quite an exciting time. Molly Ryle. As the CEO of a biotech company that's about to attempt the seemingly impossible, bring the dead back to life. It's called the Reanima Project, and it was recently approved by an institutional review board at the National Institutes of Health in the U.S. and India. The U.S. biotech company behind the project, BioCore. Wait, didn't we try this back in the day? I think some guy named George Romero, perhaps? <sighs> nah, there was, there was zombies way before then. They, went, they were like farmers back in the day. You know. Pork plans to take 20 brain-dead patients on life support and regenerate their brains. What? A number of procedures and therapies will be used in the trial, including injecting stem cells directly into the brain, along with a combination of peptides. The goal is to initiate a rebooting process in which the brain cells can regenerate on their own. As Discovery News points out, it's sort of how reptiles can regenerate lost limbs. All right, hold on a second. All this stem cell stuff is getting a little crazy. The other week I had the, ch the chimeras... The chimeras, whatever. But uh, I remember, like, Dolly, the sheep and all that, and them making stem cell research from, I guess, baby fetus, baby baby parts. Those are, like, the best stem cells, right? Like, I don't know. This is all sounding really weird. Like, World War Two, Germany, Hitler shit, but uh, with demons and raping women on machines. Maybe that was an anime I saw. Ah! But, but this is really creepy stuff, people. We're putting stem cells into this guy's brain. And we have no idea. We're like, ooh, please grow back. But we don't know what it's going to grow back. We don't know. Oh my god, that last guy with the chimeras, he was putting stem cells inside of a pig fetus and then sticking his hand up in a pig vagina and having pig babies that might turn out to be people. <sighs> but... <sighs> But if this helps the brain dead people come back to life, I'm all for it, man. Woo! We we woo! This would be cool. I'm I'm down for science, but I'm curious about what these stem cells are. Where are they getting them? What what are the facts of this? I guess I could do more research than just listening to a video clip with you, but but this is fun. Let's listen on. Now that the project has approval, the company is recruiting patients for the trial. Newsbeat Social spoke to BioQuark CEO Dr. Ira Pastor, who said, quote, Obviously, a complete human reanimation event is a far-reaching goal, but what... Wait! He said it's a goal! He's trying to do it! He's trying to... L listen to that sentence again. Obviously, a complete human reanimation event is a far-reaching goal! It's a goal! He's trying to make zombies! <sighs> but one that we do not foresee as impossible. For Newsbeat Social, I'm Molly Real. There you go. Ah! Newsbeat Social with Molly Get Real. She's cute. You know. So, there you go, people. We got uh, exploding head syndrome. We got zombies. We got all this stuff to look forward to. It's good times. Really good. To, oh, let me let me also shout out my chat room. Folk, I got a. It's on it's on my website, nicktherat.com slash radio. You click radio there, and then there's a chat button. You click chat, and you come hang out and talk to me via chat. It's a uh, yeah, or you could uh. My Twitter is kind of broken right now. It's working. I'm getting the faxes, though. The fax machine Twitter bot is in full effect. It's going good. Uh, apparently, Hillary Clinton has a monopoly on aborted baby parts and blood transfusions. The thang splits. Oh, uh, you know, let's play 
Another voicemail. We got. We have a really happening show today. We got the news and reviews and views and do's and poos and voicemails. 917 719 5923. I'm listening here, Nick. Um, your show is really going nowhere. I can't believe you wasted 25 episodes to get this far. Just keep on going nowhere. Look, man, I gave you 25 shots. I'm going to give you no more shots. This is your last... You don't, you don't even have a last shot. I can't... This is... There's not been one exposed alien on your show. I don't I, care what you said. It's it's all complete baloney, okay? I've looked into the sky like you told me to. I haven't seen anything up there. This is really ridiculous now. Okay, look, I got a lot of stuff to do. Because I am actually a proactive person, unlike you, who's just wasting everybody's time with this bull crap. Look, man, the music you play is okay and all that. I'm happy you're trying to set culture free, but this whole alien angle just not working out for you. You really think you really should probably just rethink becoming like something that you're not. Maybe you want to just maybe just stop the show right now, okay? Okay, bye. Um, I wish you left your name, asshole. Jeez. That's really... You are a disgusting fat body... Yeah, you probably are, man. You... It looks to me like the best part of you ran down to crack your mama's ass and ended up as a brown stain on the mattress. That's right, and you could take some... Oh, shit, get on your knees. That's Go right. Yeah. Now choke yourself. Yeah, choke yourself, you bad caller. You're so mean. You know who's not mean? Enron. Because he let us all listen to this song called Uncharted for free. Thanks, Enron. Oh, wait, it's Eron. I'm sorry, Eron. E R O N. Uncharted. Red, red line release. Oof, 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 oof. You had best unfuck yourself, or I will unscrew your head and shit down your neck. Woo! 638 New York City. That's right. And it's kind of hot out. Oh boy. Pussy. Pussy. Pussy.
that was my war face. That was Raz Hell. Razzy Hell. Razzy Hell. Raz. Raz. R A Z I H E L. I guess it's just easier to spell some things. I don't know. That's how I do it. I don't know how you do it. You might do it a little bit differently than you do it, but I do it that way. Uh, we got this, uh, another voicemail coming in at 917-719-5923. Hey, yeah, uh, this is Johnny Jimmy's calling from New York Ice Cream, calling to say I love the show, and, uh, don't bite Mr. Softy. Oh, shit! Mr. Softy just got called out by Johnny's Jimmy's. Take that there. Hey, how you doing there, Mr. Rat? This is uh, Sal Sprinkles. I, uh... Sal Sprinkles and Johnny Jimmy. I think th- I think there might be a sprinkle showdown going going on. It's scary, actually, if you think about it. You get a sprinkle in your eye, that shit could t- blind you. I would not want a sprinkle in my eye. I don't know if you would. Uh, let's see. It's 642 in New York, so I guess it's time to do a sponsorship call out. I might have had them on the show before, but they're back from Argentina. We got Frontera with a Malbec from... Wait, this is not from 1883. This is lies. It, maybe the company was me. This is like 12 bucks for two five-gallon jugs. Uh, it's got 12.5% alcohol by volume. And I'm seeing a 2015 date. 11 2015 Jeez, you gotta really look for the hard, the hard factors. Let's see what this Malbec's got to offer from Argentina. We got a robust aroma of forest fruits and plum entice you to explore this vivacious Malbec with fruit forward flavors. Fruit forward flavor. Oh my god, who wrote this shit? It perfectly complements your grilling skills. It will be a leg of lamb, whether it be a leg of lamb, leg of lamb. Ah, leg of lamb. A uh, juicy steak or a roast. You could drink that. You could just. It's, it's Wednesday. Drink some Melbeck. Why not? Put it in a cup. I'm throwing ice in there and drinking. Uh, let's see. We also should have more than one sponsor. Let's see. What is this over here? This came down through the sewer pipes the other day. It it almost clocked it up. I was trying. I was reading the paper, taking a crap, and the water wasn't flowing. And I grabbed this out. It's a small box. It's called a skull from. Jeez, I can't even say that. This is in French. All right, there's a little box with these coasters in it from a game called Skull. It almost stopped me from pooping, but it helped me start playing. Check it out. I think it used to be called Skull and Roses. It's a, it's a game. I think the... How is it French? There's something fishy about the story behind this game called Skull. Because apparently there was the... I heard a rumor that the Hells Angels made this. But this is clearly a, a French product. It's got French all over it. And we're in New York City. I don't know. How many French are here? Uh, uh, we could play... Uh, we got we got more voicemail from I don't know. Let's just play it. Yes, sir. Yes, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm putting the tap on his line right now, sir. Sir, Larry what? will not get away from us. We heard him on the last episode. He Did you just say Larry? Me, sir, Larry will not get away from us. We heard him on the last episode. He's sending Nick the Rat faxes. Look, we're going to catch him, sir. Don't worry about it. We the whole sewer is tapped. We sprayed it down. He was knocked out for a while. We put bugs all over. We're going to find Larry. He can't get too far from us. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, crap. What the... Oh. Sir, we might have a problem here. What the fuck? The sewers are tapped, everybody. The sewers? I... Oh, Oh, God. This is bad. 
The sewers are tapped. I'm just trying to talk hard down here. I'm trying to expose culture for what it really is so the aliens don't rape us too hard when they invade. And I'm getting tapped by the... That guy sounded like FBI. Larry's in America. Wait. I don't know who Larry is. I don't know where in America he might be. He might be dancing Rin by Akira. Yeah. That'll get him off my case. <laughs> Suckers. Hey, yeah, uh, this is Johnny Jimmy calling from New York Ice Cream, calling to say I love the show. And uh, don't bite Mr. Softy. Hey, how you doing there, Mr. Rat? This is uh, Sal Sprinkles. I uh, I am one of the fine workers of uh, Mr. Softy, you know, the ice cream trucks that go around New York City, this beloved city that we have here. And I uh, just want to let you know to make sure that you buy to us and not New York ice cream. All right, let me tell you something right now. They got all kinds of diseases, everything from Zika virus to AIDS, whatever. Don't buy from them. Buy from Mr. Softy. Just letting you know. I love your show. I hope it keeps going, man. And whatever you need from us, you know, we'll be right outside, okay? Who the fuck said that? How about they regret that? Are you a Peter Pupper? I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. Take the ride! Nick the Rat! I thought I would scream right there. I'm drunk, leave me alone! You had best square your ass away and start shitting me Tiffany couplings, or I will definitely fuck you up. You will not laugh, you will not cry, you will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. Hell, I like you. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. Oh, I don't want to do that, sir. Sir, no, sir. I will pass on fucking your sister. I've seen pictures. She's kind of cute, but she's not as cute as Dancing Rin 
from Akira, A K I R R A. They seem to have a lot of really good music out there. I'm probably going to play a lot of Akira in the future. Oh, I just remembered that I forgot to remember that I have more of this story. Woo! It was, it was life changing. It was the exploding head syndrome with the and then the white, and I saw white. And then I, I was starting to flip out because I was like, oh, seizure. And then I had the sleep paralysis where I couldn't move. I'm like, I can't move right now. And then I saw a shadow person. Yes. Yes, folks. I saw one. He was at the foot of my bed. Look at... He looked shocked. He looked like, oh, shit. This, look at that. That paralysis is seeing me right now. He was... He looked a little small, but when I measured it out later after I woke up, he was he was like a, probably a four or five foot uh, four or five foot guy. He might not. He was very androgynous. He just looked like a, a green suit guy. You know, you know when they you wear it could be either or. He was a slim figure, a slim human shape. In yeah, I'm a rat. Maybe it was it was all right. So it's a a slim rat. See, this really happened though. This is breaking the seventh wall. <sighs> I saw a shadow a shadow person, folks. It was it was, but this also added to me knowing I was dreaming and the lucidity. It started to kick in the lucidity. I could drag this story out a little bit longer, can I? I could, especially since there seems to be a sprinkle beef going on, everybody. Sprinkle beef sounds really gross. If you think about it, imagine just sprinkling beef. Well, here we go, folks. Uh, Nick the Rat at 6.53 New York City is sprinkling some beef. Sprinkle beef. Uh, yeah, this is uh, fucking Johnny Jimmy's again. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know who this uh, Sally Sprinkles is. But uh, all I got to say is, I don't know what your woman wants. Does she want fucking hot ice cream or soft ice cream? You got to ask her. Does she want soft ice cream? If she's into that soft shit, go talk to her fucking Sally Sprinkles. Ah! Well, you heard her first, folks. If, uh, if, you, if your girl wants the soft, uh, the soft, hot, melty ice cream, go, go straight to... Uh, Go straight to Mr. Softy, and if if you would prefer the the harder stuff, continue on to the Jimmy's fucking Sprinkles Factory USA right there. Wow, the beef is real, and so is Argo Fox, and he brings it from the dust. <laughs> Shadow people, they're here. Could have been an alien. He kind of look like a. You look like a big-headed alien. Hey, yeah, uh, this is uh, John Jimmy's again from New York Ice Cream, the best ice cream in New York. Uh, yeah, anyways, I was hanging out in the neighborhood the other day, and I saw these, uh, I saw these Nazis. So I started talking to these Nazis, and guess what? They were eating Mr. Softy ice cream. Do you want your kids eating ice cream with Nazis? Mr. Softy, the Nazi ice cream. That's right. Well, no shit. The shadow people are here for the sprinkles, people. They're here for the sprinkles. That's the only explanation. Hey, 
Hey, Red, hey, it's me again, Sal Sprinklefield. I just wanted to, like, make something clear to you because, you know, you never know. Maybe the information, it wasn't, you know, detailed enough. Uh, your best interest is to buy from Mr. Soft, you understand me? Because this is a fucking turf war over here. All right, we can't have none of this other shit, man. You can't be going to fucking New York ice cream. Man, they're, they're bullshit, man. Let me tell you, they, they hire, like, seven-year-old Brazilian kids and shit. And you don't need none of that, man. Come to Mr. Softy, you get the proper service, you get the good prices, two for one, three for one, whatever the fuck you want, man. We got you, all right? Remember, Mr. Softy, okay. Jesus, hey, Brock. It's official, the Sprinkle War is hot. 2016, New York City. Woo! Melting sprinkles in the sewer. Make the rat. Oh man! Yeah, you can't not love Argo Fox. I'm talking about good electric culture for you. Woo. Take that, aliens! Maybe if I sprink sprinkles, if I sprink sprinkles, if I sprinkle sprinkles. Wow! You sprinkle sprinkles. Oh my god! I get it now! Chemtrail Sprinkles Coming to America! Wow, uh, uh, apparently there's like a whole 20 seconds of nothingness on the end of this song. Thanks, Argo Fox, for making it seem longer than it was. But yeah, ah, uh, from the dust from Argo Fox. Go check them out. If you ever need stuff for things, you, you go right over there. Uh, it's very electronic music. There seems to be a lot of that. I guess it's easier to make things with nothing these days. Man, uh, it's like all forms of art are being consumed by the computer, the thing that can't make it without the people. But that's that's like, like, what is art, and what are computers, and what is work, and why are you, why are you doing it? Why are you doing your work? Do you love it, or you just want money? Like, you gotta love what you do, otherwise your life is wasted, is, is, is it not? If you're just trying to make money, then it's a wasted life. You should enjoy the thing you do, or at least it should. The job should not be. Uh, it shouldn't be a burden on your shoulders. Your job, right? No, 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 no. But uh, sometimes computers makes the, the burden lighter. Like I'm sure Argo Fox. He does not... Maybe he plays real, like, a woodwind instrument or something. I played... I played Das Flute back in the day. But anyway, this is just bringing it to me to my next news story. About Shadow... No, not Shadow... It's, a. Uh, but I gotta finish that Shadow Person story. I didn't finish it yet. There's more to it, people. This was... This was an intense moment in my life... I might write, like, a holy book about it, and there'll be wars fought, and people killed, and children raped. It's gonna happen! (sighs) McDonald's is... doing something crazy. 
McDonald's Corp. is days away from opening a new Phoenix location run entirely by robots. Stay tuned. This is brought to you by News Examiner TV. Check him out. Uh, I guess for this Fast story. food giant McDonald's announced today that they are just days away from launching a restaurant that is run entirely by robots. A spokesman for the chain said to locate... Wait a second. That's a fallacy right there. It's run entirely by robots. <sighs> Some Somebody call the grammar police on... Somebody call the uh, uh, news reporting police on her. It's not completely run... It's there's a touch screen that might you press it and it'll flip the chunk of meat on a conveyor belt for you. Oh my god! But you know it's sort of like that's you know what what we would be doing if it wasn't that. So it's not entirely run. There's a there's a human behind it. There's always a human behind it. So once the the robots start making money, then. That's one I think we really have to be scared because if the robots need fake shit, then it it's not. There's no reason left to be alive, uh, sentient like a rat. There's no reason to be a rat. If robots care about money, thank goodness for Chef Boy R D. Um, by the way, Chef Boy R D, I think you should change your name to Chef Boy R D. Chef Boyardi. If you extend you ate the beginning of the name, you could sell your product for more. And get rid of that cartoon character. Put some fancy font on there, and you got yourself two dollars a can. <sighs> Back to the news examiner TV. Station will still employ a minimal staff to ensure the machines are working correctly. Oh. Okay. The move could eliminate any threat of strike by minimum wage employees. No Shareholders saw their stock increase 3% on the announcement. Is Verizon still on strike? Story at newsexaminer.net. They're showing, wow, so McDonald's Corporation uh, is making like 100, their shares is at 100? They just, them shares are at 100. Uh, one day, five day. This is a weird chart. Yeah, I don't, whatever, they're making money and they got robots in there. Um, Chef Boyardi, Chef Boyar Two D Two, that could de- yo know, Blitz. This is crazy up in the chat room, man. Um, so we got other voicemails. You could call in. It's not all about sprinkles tonight, people. It's it's about the truth. It's about the truth. Let's see what the truth is about in this voicemail. Nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. I hope you realized how I let that play through at maximum loudness without any goofy sound effects or or sergeant shelling at me. Jesus, age Christ. Yeah, because this is this is this is heavy stuff. This guy's been calling me. I don't. I think he's so. Wait, if I say it, they're gonna, they, my lines are tapped. My lines are. T- I'm talking hard tonight. 
I'm coming to the man. I don't care about what you got going on anymore. If you think that you could stop me from spreading the truth, you suit wearing monkeys, then you, you have nothing. What's what's this going? What's going on? Oh, I'm getting a fax. There's a fax coming in. This guy, I remember this area code. Wait, no, I mean, I got the number blocked. Don't worry. Anybody can send anything. It's There's no tracing. It's printing. Oh, my God. Larry. Thank you, Larry. Larry, I've been waiting for this, Larry. He's, it looks like a map. I think he sent a map, people. I'm going to post this on... Hold on. This is... I'm sorry. This is really exciting. Uh, this is my Twitter work. Can I get back on Twitter? Did they? That's why they blocked my Twitter. The, oh, it's open. People, Twitter's back. It's back. It was gone, but it's back. And on sewer... Sewer, it starts with a W. And then chat. And then I'm going to post this... Larry, you're, you're a genius. He's he's made a map. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Save the queen. Eat sprinkles. Fuck the government. Fuck the police, man. Fuck the fuck the popo. There we go, Larry. All right, check out Sewer Chat on Twitter to see this map. I don't know where it's pointing to. Whew. Thank God I got this fax machine. If it wasn't for this, I would have know what's going on. But now I know what's going on. Larry's there. He's he's out there somewhere, and I don't care. The government's not coming for me at all. And I'll be watching you. Oh. God, I just forgot he was here. Uh, let's play a song because we're not trying to expose the alien government c- c- conspiracies. We're we're talking about music and culture. Would D E F? See, I'm just gonna spell this one. I'm sorry, Def Coop. D E F Q W O P with heart a fire. While you and me repeat this Bullshit! You didn't convince me! It's, it's real! I'm waiting And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire
from New York Ice Cream, the best ice cream in New York. Uh, yeah, anyways, I was hanging out in the neighborhood the other day, and I saw these, uh, I saw these Nazis. So I started talking to these Nazis, and guess what? They're eating Mr. Softy ice cream. Oh, snap, Mr. Softy, you got the smackdown. Nick the Rat, that's my name, sir. Uh, so wait, seven, seven plus two. It's like ten, twelve, sir. Woo. No, that's wrong. Nineteen hundred hours, sir. Go over pile. What? No, Nick the Rat. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. Do you maggots understand that? From now on, you're Gomer Pyle. Oh, no, sir, I'm not. Yeah, well, that was the Fwap Up. The Fwap Up with Heart of Fire. Woo! Not bad stuff right there. Um, so let me finish my story here. This is, this is how the uh, explosive head syndrome, sleep paralysis, and then I have a touch... I had a touch of the, the shadow person in there, too. Whew. What a night. What a night it was. But, so at this point, I know I am dreaming, though. I am, like, in bed. I'm out, I'm, I'm out but I'm apparently lucid tripping balls, apparently, or something. Uh, so, I see this thing at my, the, the foot of the bed. It looks, it looks like some from X-Files, probably, truthfully. Lamely to say, but I think one episode of X-Files had, like, a shadowy, smoky creature. Maybe he was trying to eat a kid in a cabin in the woods one night. It looked like that. Like, that was... Uh, I'll, uh, uh, I'll make a representation of it soon and show you what it... This, is, this really happened, people. It happened to me. It was... It was stalking around the edge of my bed. I have sleep paralysis. I look down, I see it, and I'm like, oh, great. Not only can I not move, there is a shadowy figure creeped out that I could see it now, looking at me. Woo. Even my tail was... Ding. And I couldn't move it. But I knew... I knew what was going on. I knew it was a dream. I wasn't really scared. I was staying kind of calm and kind of cool. So I start trying to move. I'm like forcing it. Like, because I could dream force. You know, man, I, I, I'm a lucid Jedi, man. You can't mess with my my dream kung fu. So I, I start, and I do. I actually do get to move. But that's when the dream starts falling apart. Because then I see, like, I'm like jello looking. Like, I'm seeing trails, I guess. And I'm like, I did, I did not... I, there, there, no shrooms came down to the sewer this weekend, my friend. Whew. No, no, there was no chemicals other than I, I did get maybe because I got sprayed in the face with that Zika spray. Shit is thick. I got through it though. Thanks, Rainer. You, my boy. I'll send it up to you in a little bit. You could, uh, you could talk to the people. But anyway, back to my story. I gotta finish it one day. It, it's not too much longer. It's almost over. Hold on. So I'm seeing this shadow person, and the shadow person's seeing me. So I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm moving. So I can't, though, because I got the sleep paralysis. And then I start fighting it because I'm understanding that this this is some hogwash. The scariest things that'll happen to you you can't wake up from. This is not one of them, my friends. Anyway, so I'm moving. I'm tripping. I'm seeing it. I get to, like, to step three because there's, like... Uh, I would say step one is like I'm I'm flat 180. Step two is at 45 degrees, and I'm seeing it. I'm seeing like frames of it now. So I'm like, ooh, this shit's some fake stuff. Okay, this is getting. Let's have some fun. And then, but then I'm like remembering I had the exploding head syndrome. So I'm like, no, I gotta. I I might be stroking out. I I actually do have to protect myself. Uh, I have. I have a good way that you could protect yourself while you're you're going to sleep. 
Before you go to sleep, drink water. It's what the Indians used to do. This is what... Uh, I, I think everybody should do this. Because <sighs> if you drink water before you go to sleep, you, you're kind of on edge. And you, you Also, if you're not strong, if, you're not, if, you, if your lucid kung fu is weak, don't do it because you're going to piss the bed. Just, but if your lucid kung fu is strong... Try it out. Just have a cup of water. Go to sleep. Any little disturbance in the forest will will wake you up, and you'll be uh, you'll you'll be you'll be grabbing the samurai sword that you got next to your bed to be cutting through intruders, or you'll be in the bathroom peeing and killing bugs that came out at late at night. You never know what you'll find. Wow! So I strayed from the store really far. I'm going back on track now. I'm at phase three, 90 degrees. I'm now sideways in my lucid dream, still paralyzed, and and I kind of wake up after that. And then I go straight to my phone. Oh, actually, this is really trippy. I never even admitted this one to myself. But the dream didn't end there, because I went to my phone, still in my dream. Must have been because of what happened next. But first, you have to listen to Cartoon. Why We Lose! This is a good song. Otherwise, I wouldn't play it. Let me see your real war face. That's a war face. Now let me see your war face. Let's have Holy dog shit. Till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now Don't say you're on the run to the other side My Come here. Do you suck dicks? Uh, I said I was a little drunk. Are you a Peter Pucker? No! My uh, Iron Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. I'm a Hartman Puffer. Bullshit, I'll bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Shut up! From now on, you're Gober Pile. No. Pick the Rat 720, New York City! Go, go, cartoon! You say you wanna try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. You say you wanna cry, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. So, yeah! That was Cartoon with Why We Lose.
Tunes. Yeah, that's a good song there, right there, isn't it? Well, we got voicemail, which is not as musical, but it's voicemail. It's weird, too, because I think people have been leaving voicemails during the show, and I haven't seen them calling, which is... Maybe they know a hack around or whatever, but... Anyway, 917-719-5923! Well, this... Well, this is... This is Philip. Of course, from Texas. Um, I just wanted to say that... That I have sleep paralysis. And... I'll tell you, I still have the paralysis part. But I remember I was sleeping... And then I heard a loud bang, and it sounded like some weird music from, like, 1920. And then I saw some weird black figure or something walking around the room. I didn't know who it was, but I was by myself, so... It just stood there, it was waving at me. And I, I was scared, I was cheating myself and everything. So, I thought it was, maybe it was me, like I, maybe I'm, I'm stupid. But, it turns out that it's a real thing, and it's crazy. Are you still having the paralysis? All right, sir, either you were really mean or we shared the same experience. I'm going to go with the latter because I'm a pacifist. Fisticles. Fisticles. Uh, no, sir, I have only suffered the sleep paralysis once. Seriously. Maybe I've maybe a couple times. but I had this fall asleep arm thing more. But no... I don't... I didn't go back in time or anything. So anyway, I didn't finish the story. I was looking at the phone, and I'm... Um, I, I was... I was sending... Uh, I sent... I sent... I tweeted. I, I tweeted to Sewer Chat. I was like, Sewer Chat just had a paranormal experience. Holy shit. It was crazy. All this shit happened. See, this is the weird thing. I never... I never mentioned this part of the story to anybody, but this actually happened. Like, I was... I was, I thought I was awake at this point, doing this, but I was on my phone, which I keep sort of nearby, and I, I started to type this out, and, and then somebody responded to me, and they started talking to me about sleep paralysis, maybe it was this caller, oh my god, maybe life, maybe the waking life, and the dream world, or, they're connected Perhaps. Uh, so anyway, so I, would, I I remember all that happening. And then I really woke up. And I was still scared from the flash and the white light. Like, I, would, I seriously... Because I remembered everything that happened from that point forward. I wonder what I was doing before then. Anyway, after that point, I was like, Oh man, flash, a light, and a loud noise in my dream... I, I saw the shadow person. I remembered that, but I didn't really look... I, I was more concerned about the, the flash and the noise. Because I've had lucid dreams, but I've never had, like... In my head before. It was really spasmatic. It was weird. Uh, so, that's when I saw what was called exploding head syndrome. And then I looked through my past matches, messages. Hold on one second. Past messages, didn't see anything that I sent out in my dream, so I was like, that must have been a dream too. Shadow person was part of the dream as well. And the white flash was part of the dream, which turns out to be exploding head syndrome, so I don't really care, I'm not stroking out. Everything's fine, Nick the Rat's going to go on to episode 26 and beyond. Unless the government actually does get me. Uh, uh You know what? Uh, so that was my... A big paranormal experience because uh, most paranormal experiences do exist within dreams for me. I'm a very loose dreamer. I see weird things in there and it makes me think about life in a weird way. So I would say dream control is strange. But in real life, I had a couple of really paranormal experiences like 
two. Nothing too huge. I live, you know, in the sewer. I don't see many. I don't. I can't see Bigfoot. Chupacabra is not in New York. Zika virus is in here. Ebola is not here. That's all just lies, people. Those mosquitoes, you're not going to get that shit unless you go down south. It's so... Anyway. Well, you know. You know how many things in Australia could kill you? Australia's waiting to kill you. So let's hear somebody else's something. I don't even know. Here's a voicemail. 917-719-5923. That shit really all happened to me, too. They... Uh, here. Here, listen to this. Hey, Nick. This is Mark from New Mexico. I just thought I would share a story with you. It was oh. really creepy. The other night, it was around midnight or so, and I have a cat, and I felt the cat get onto the bed. You know, it's, if you have cats, you know what I'm talking about. You probably don't because you're a rat. But when the cat gets on the bed, you kind of feel it's talking around on there and all this. But then I, I look. I look at the window, and my cat is in the window. After that, I sit my pants, and I went back to sleep. I I, told, I woke up covered in feces. It was the scariest thing that ever happened to me. I call it phantom cat scat. Okay. So I don't know if you or your viewers or listeners ever experienced phantom cat scat, but it's a real thing, and I'm starting to PSA on it now. Thanks. Have a good day. Uh, hope it's still good, good for you. Holy shit. Phantom cat scat. I don't know what to say about that one. If you mix that in with the sprinkles, then we're living in a dream right now, everybody. We're, we are experiencing a dream. And to prove it to you, I'm going to send this... Uh, I'm going to... Well, this can't happen in real life, can it? Can you just call somebody in a spaceship above you to be on the internet and talking to everybody at the same time while everybody's listening in? No, you can't really do that. Well, this is definitely a dream. Damn right, it's a dream there. <laughs> this is Rainer, Jim Rainer Cole, in from outer space. I have a spaceship over your planet. I got lasers that could start and stop your heart. It's craziness. Uh, but I will not be starting or stopping your heart tonight. Maybe if it uh, calls for it, I might have to do a mass stop at some point. At some point. Mm. Anyway, uh, so let's see what we got going on on the planet. We're gonna hit the uh, we're gonna hit the window. I'm gonna look out the window here and see who's tuning in to Nick the Rat Live in the Sewer at 7.30 New York City time. That's where my spaceship starts and now we're gonna go zooming around the planet. Wait, well, since we're in New York, I can see the Hudson. Hudson's tuning in. Hey, Hudson, how you doing, man? It's There's a lot of fucking mosquitoes down there. You're near the water. And there's, uh, we got Astoria. They got some Zika virus. You better watch out. I'm gonna zap them later, but we're good for now. We got some other person. We got some Queens people tuning in to the Nick the Rat Show. Man, you are so lucky that I zapped your heart last week and brought you back to life, my little fuzzy friend. But you are going to be making me and Karen get money for our life. We got Massachusetts tuning in. Hey, Massachusetts. All right, we're zooming around the planet now. We're going to the North Pole. We're going to the Norwegian Sea. Oh. There is Norway. You look just like a penis still. Always will. Uh, no, nobody in Norway listening. We got China. There's nobody in China listening to Nick the Rat. They just want to eat you over there, my little friend. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry. I got lasers all around the planet. We got Australia. Nobody in Australia loves you right now, my little fuzzy friend, but that's okay. We got, oh, Alaska. There's Alaska. I can see it from my house up in the sky. Nope, nobody in Aus, in Aus, Aus, Alaska. 
Alaska is not tuning in. We got Oregon tuning in. We got California tuning in. What's going on, everybody? How you doing out there? And finally, it looks like somebody out in Texas. Hey, I know a lot about Texas. It's only steers and queers come from Texas, private cowboy. And you don't much look like a steer to me, so that kind of narrows it down. Wow, uh, Brainer scares me sometimes. Happy I took the mic away from him. But we got more voicemail to go because p- people remembered my phone number, I guess. Uh, let's see what this one's got to say. Hey, yeah, uh, this is uh, Johnny Jimmy's again. I don't know what uh, Sally Sprinkles has been spraying on your radio show there. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about, you know? Like, maybe Turf War and Candyland or some shit. Oh! Anyways, yeah, uh, so I was at this Trump rally the other day, and I'm there with all these, like, KKK guys. It was really weird, and they're all, you know, Mr. Softy. It was a horrible sight. It was, like, we had to cover kids' eyes and stuff. It was the worst. <laughs> Don't buy Mr. Softy. Well, there you go. Uh, Mr. Softy is is a Nazi Trump supporter, I guess. Well, uh, I guess that's the show, everybody. At 7.30, I've got a whole mug of wine to go and like five more bong tokes to toke. But we got one more song, too, for you. We, we're not, we're not going to just leave you out of the sewer like that. We like to escort people via music. Because that makes you feel good as you're walking home naked, dripping, drooling on yourself and covered in old newspapers. But if you're not covered in old newspapers, then you don't know what the fuck's going on out there. Here's show tech and noise control with Get Loose. Everybody, just get loose. It's Wednesday. We can, I can get loose. You can get loose. We're all getting loose. Fucking comedian. Do you like that name? No. no. I think I'm right. He's a shadow person. Get out of my bedroom, you pervert. Thanks, sewer chat. Thanks, everybody. We got boat. We got blitz. We got haze. We got Nick the Rat. We got Sapphire Bork. Those e tonning in Progo. Making robots. We're making brains. You are nothing but unorganized, grabastic pieces of amphibian shit. Wow, that was a short song. I wish it was longer. It was dope, but that's Nick the Rat live from the sewer episode 25, everybody.